How's it going guys? I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, I just want to give you sort of an update of what the situation is and how far I stripped the S3. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so, next update. I've uh, stripped it even more. I've got the um, bits over here. So I've got the intake off, uh, all the pipes and everything. Got the intercooler off, got the um, radiator off. The wipers and everything obviously with the bonnet off so now i'm currently dealing with getting the downpipe off which you see i've already wd 40 everything down there and uh there's my turbo so uh i want to take the battery out um i'm not gonna stress myself too much today i'm just gonna do uh, like the uh main parts that i would want like mostly what i want from this is just all the parts that i've actually put money into like obviously the revo um engine mount i want the fuel pump because this is uh brand new with a uh, obviously brand new internals um so yeah i'm just trying to salvage what i've actually put money into really so far as intake into cooler I'm gonna have to take the gearbox off at one point because this has actually got the, the Stage 2 Plus um, clutch in it, which is 850 pounds new, so it's definitely worth getting it out um, to install on the future S3. So yeah, we're getting there. It's just gonna be a uh, road ahead. Although, you know, it's uh, it's a learning, learning curve as well, you know. I'm going to be taking things apart on this which I've never taken apart before and obviously I'm going to be knowing how to take it apart in the future. Um, obviously with all this damage at the back, this light I've taken out is up here. Luckily it's not cracked or anything around it, but although it is scratched, you guys can see it scratched there. So hopefully a machine polish might fix it because these are like, these are facelift lights so I actually bought these um separately and these are actually like 160 quid um this one is obviously perfect um which is good but otherwise we're just gonna keep on cracking on okay guys so we've got the center of the exhaust out i'm currently working on getting the downpipe out it's all loose i just can't get it through this gap so i'm gonna um loosen the prop shaft move it to the side get the exhaust out um, as well as we're just ripping these coil packs out, just it was an easy job. So, uh, yeah, again, we're getting there. But let's do an update of what how far we are now. Um, but it's not so bad. I mean, I'm just taking my time, just slowly cracking on with it. And, uh, yeah, as you obviously, I think I've already shown you guys the headlights broken there, but that's a good one there, so that would be good for spares. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, so this is where we're at. Um, got the ignition coils out and they're in a the box and all upstairs in the loft now. Um, the downpipe is still there because I need to take the prop shaft off and I do not have the correct tools to get the prop shaft off um, because it's like a spline socket that I need, which I don't have. Um, so, uh, got the... Uh, both lights off. I sent the other one. My mate Jason is going to uh, try and machine polish and sand the one that's actually damaged. Shout out to that legend. He's going to be uh, part of this um, stripping session. Well, stripping plan. Um, and yeah, we're just we're just getting there. I'm taking all the caps off. They're going to be going upstairs for um, just spares. This is going to be going upstairs for spares. And uh, these are going to be upstairs as well. These are the wind reflectors, um, which I need to put upstairs, but I'll do that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we got quite far. This is the stuff that's going to the dump because obviously the bumper's damaged. These are just wheel arches. The bonnet's fucked. That light is broken. This is all broken. Everything here is basically um, worthless because it's all broken or not worth keeping. Three wheels there, one on the back left. Um, I'll show you guys 
up in the loft of what we got so far. So, got the radiator, because I thought it would be good to keep as well as like the radiator, but also these fans are really expensive if one packs up. Um, so yeah, I've got the sensor exhaust bit, exhaust mounts, the intake kits, uh, that's the standard intercooler. Here is the Wagner intercooler, which is perfectly fine. We'll definitely be re reusing that. I've got a headlight, which is perfectly mint. All the light headlights work, everything. I've also taken the bulbs out of the other one that is knackered. This is the wipers and the bonnet strut. There's the red coil packs in there and some just miscellaneous bits and bobs. But uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below with, with what you guys think of the situation. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the next update. And uh, yeah, see you there.